12 months ago to the day, I recorded this video. It's the last day of 2022 and all the other YouTubers that I watch are releasing videos about their goals for next year. Would I be able to consider this a proper running YouTube channel if I didn't make a video about my goals? I don't know. Frankly, I don't want to know. Here's my goals video. Niche Simpsons references aside. Maybe single people eat crackers. We don't know. Frankly, we don't want to know. So here's another goals video for 2024. So that's it after 20 years. So long, good luck. I don't recall saying good luck. 2023 for me was a massive year of personal growth in running, work, and my mindset, my thinking. In my professional space, I've been doing a lot of work in how to explain and articulate your thinking and apply frameworks to how you think. And that's resulted in me completely changing the way I think about my goal setting and strategic planning and all of that sort of stuff. Traditionally, I've always gone with the model of let's set a goal based on what's a realistic outcome and then what are the steps to do that and smart goals and all of that sort of stuff. So I've made very specific goals. I've made very measurable goals. They've been very targeted and there's been a very specific action plan towards meeting them. What I've learned this year and what I've developed is an understanding is that when we do that, we then become focused on the process and locked into the process. And we place a higher value on sunk costs and the work that we've put in rather than actually the what we're trying to achieve. How that's changed and how that's going to influence my goal setting in this video is I'm going to talk a lot more about two questions. What am I trying to achieve? and why am I trying to achieve it? Because what I've found by working in this way this year, what am I trying to achieve and why am I trying to achieve it become my anchors. The how can take on different forms as long as I keep coming back to the what am I trying to achieve and why am I trying to achieve it? You'll see that sort of thinking start to come through this video as we're reflecting on last year's goals, but also as we're projecting forward. Let's start by looking at my goals for racing and let's think back 12 months ago, I said I wanted to do this. I'm gonna change the goal for next year to compete more and to put myself in a position to achieve better times more often. I then went on to elaborate more and more and get very specific about how many times I wanted to race 5Ks, how many times I wanted to race 10Ks, how many times I wanted to race. But what was important there was what I was trying to achieve and why I was trying to achieve it. I wanted to get more comfortable with racing and putting myself in a hurt locker because in the previous 12 months, I'd been talking myself out of pushing myself. In terms of that goal, did I achieve the goal that I specified in that video? Well, no, because halfway through the year, everything changed and I completely changed my track. But I did succeed in changing my mindset around racing and hard efforts. What I went through at Noosa with that half marathon, that's an example of that. Everything that could have gone wrong before that race went wrong and I still ran a five minute PB. Looking forward to 2024, in terms of racing, what am I trying to achieve and why am I trying to achieve it? I want to run PBs, especially at the start, the first six months, I'm really going to be focusing on that 5, 10, 21k sort of distance, I'm really pushing myself to, to achieve PBs in those areas. Why? Because I want to run fast. I think I've only got a couple of years left in me of running fast, so I want to do that now while I can. I really want to hit sub 90 for a half too. I think I've left a lot out there. I think I can go a lot faster. Training goals. So in the last video, I said I wanted to you know, have so many active days and I said that I wanted to run 3000 Ks for the year. That was a pretty good goal. Um, and I was on track to meet that until I fell over in the backyard ultra and hurt my knee. I only missed out. So I pretty much missed two months of running and I only missed out on that goal by 107 Ks. So I'm actually gonna take that goal because what I wanna achieve is I wanna take the great practices that I learned this year through my marathon training and implement them next year and translate those across to shorter distances. Why do I wanna do that? Well, let's see earlier, I wanna achieve PBs. It'll be great if I can run like three and a half thousand Ks, but again, it's more about what am I trying to achieve and why. I'm trying to implement some of those practices that I learned this year consistency, good long runs, specificity when I need to, but just consistent practices and consistent training. Last of all, the channel. This year with the channel, I wanted to get a certain number of subscribers, didn't meet that goal. But 421 right now, one of the biggest things was that I wanted to build better routines and release one video a week. I didn't meet that goal um, because life got busy and I've got to be willing to accept that. So what am I trying to achieve this year? Well, I want to embed some of the better routines that I've developed this year and make better videos and create better stuff here on this channel because this has become really, really important for me. 
I enjoy it. I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy pushing myself to work in this way when I'm someone who doesn't like talking so much. And right now I'm up to 10 minutes and 30 seconds of me talking at this camera. So that's got to be beneficial for me, right? But also it's the creative side of this. Um, I've got to think creatively. I've got to think differently. I, I'm normally a two plus two is four kind of guy. So this pushes me to think differently and I love that. So this year, what do I want to achieve? Well, I want to achieve 52 plus videos. <laughs> Why? Because that means I'll have embedded the practices that I've learned this year and I've embedded good routines. And so they're my goals. That's what I want to achieve this year in 2024. It's a little bit different. It's very airy fairy, but for me, it's clear and it helps me go as I develop how I work towards these goals. But what's important is what I want to achieve and why I want to achieve it. So anyway, what do you reckon? What do you think of my goals? Are they achievable? Do you care? What do you think? And I'd encourage you to have a go at thinking in this way. All right, think about this year, one thing, one area of your life, and have a go at writing it down in the comments. What do you want to achieve? But more importantly, why do you want to achieve that? By going through that process, I'm sure you'll refine your goal multiple times. I'd love you to write it down below. What are you trying to achieve? Why are you trying to achieve it? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And thanks for indulging me in this uh, really self-indulgent reflection. I'm looking forward to this year. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Don't forget to comment down below. What do you want to achieve? Why are you trying to achieve it?